We flowers and coffee and cooking and candles. So if you would like to come along, we're just going to be summoning up some autumn. So here we go. from Hongkong Park. Um, we're right by the Han River and it has been the most incredible weather um, for the past week and I believe it's gonna be the same. It is now 25 degrees and it is supposed to be 25 to 24 all week which is incredible and it is no longer humid. It is wonderful. Yesterday I went for a walk in this area and it was lovely so I came out here at the same time today with my picnic blanket and some tea and some books and some snacks. And I've already been here for three hours um, and I'm gonna sit here for just a little bit longer reading. Um, it is not that crowded. There are like two groups of people now. I was alone for a really long time. There was a man who took a nap and he had his little poodle sleeping with him and it was the cutest thing um but other than that it's kind of empty um people are just like walking by so i'm cool to take my mask off and just sit here which is so nice because the air is so clear um and sending love to everybody back home um in california the entire west coast all of north america at this point um man i I mean, if you guys are from there, you know what it's like to be breathing in smoke for weeks on end. I can't even imagine it being as bad as it is though. Um, so yeah, I'm just sending you guys love and fresh air. It's really scary and hope that everybody's safe. But yeah, I'm just welcoming autumn. It's definitely in the air. It's just my favorite time of year. I'm, I'm very, very thankful um, that we're getting like a nice proper autumn. I'm just rereading an old favorite um, that I had saved on my Kindle and 
Yeah, just watching these crazy clouds go by. I think it's gonna be a really amazing sunset, um, but that's not for two more hours. I don't know if I'll stay that long. It's a little chilly, actually. How exciting. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna leave you here and get back okay. to my book. Bye. I heard about you long before we met. You're winsome and you're young, at least that's what they said. Underneath your glitter and your gold. You can't deny the fact that you are growing old You have a thousand eyes that never fall asleep Someday I will leave you When I've had enough of your beauty Good morning everyone. We are on Garosugil today and the social distancing levels have been lifted. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm going to go get a coffee and then we're going to hit a few little places to automize my apartment. I'm gonna go to a candle shop and hopefully get a new candle for the season. And then my flower cafe that I go to all the time, um, they were really struggling because nobody could come sit in for two or three weeks so I'm going to stop in there and hopefully get a little bouquet maybe I think it's I don't know if they'll have any right now it's a little early in the day but we'll go support them and that's the plan so let's get a coffee <laughs> Okay, so it is officially that time of year where it is acceptable to eat sweet potatoes every single day, like I do anyway. Um, so we are going to be making a recipe from onceuponachef.com and it is an autumn carrot and sweet potato soup. And it involves carrots, sweet potatoes, apple, and some honey. Is that all? Onion. Yeah, so we're just gonna cook that up and hopefully it will feed me for the entire week. I'm dealing with a very fickle stomach. Kurt thinks I have an ulcer. It's just not good news. So I would like something a little soothing and sweet potatoes are just the comfort food. So let's get chopping. The onions are done, but I need a moment. Oh. Okay, significantly less painful. We need half a pound of carrots, which should be three and a half cups, half that. 
one and three quarters of a cup. Ooh, I did that relatively quickly. Okay, so I need one and three quarters of a cup. I have way too many carrots. Great. And this is all gonna be um, blended later. You guys know how I am with a knife. Not good, not my strong suit. So please don't judge what is going on here. I think this is enough. What? Oh my God, I got way too many things. I'm gonna be eating carrots for forever. Why do I have so many carrots? Sweet potato time. Three cups. That's right, right? Yeah, three cups. Can do, can do. And last but not least is one tart yet sweet apple, such as a Honeycrisp or Fuji. And if you have never had a Honeycrisp apple before, it is the best apple, no contest. Even though the West Coast of the US is like a lot of our, most of our fruit and veg actually come from California, um, it is the East Coast that has all of the really good different variations of apples. Um, we, they're either expensive or we just don't have them. They aren't easy to ship um, over in California. So whenever I would go back to New Jersey um, to visit my family, that was like high priority was getting all these different kinds of amazing apples and Honeycrisp was always my favorite but I'm very happy to announce that when I brought Kurt to New York um, a couple Octobers ago we went to the farmer's market and I forced him to try a Honeycrisp apple and he loved it he still talks about it to this day so I'm so proud of him Honeycrisp is the best and this is not a Honeycrisp <laughs> is what I'm getting at. So anyway, also it's noisy because the windows are open because the weather is so perfect and I just don't want to miss a moment of it. Anyway, um, what do I need to do? One tart, well, technically I only need half of one then, right? If I'm doing a half of this recipe, whatever. Let's move over to the kitchen. Hey, play some jazz. Now playing pure jazz radio. Ooh. Okay, it has been simmering for 25 minutes and now I'm actually going to cool it off. Um, I'm going to add the apples and the honey and then let it sit for a little bit longer because it needs to cool off before I can move it to the blender. Let's do that. Bowls, full of honey, there you go. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh my God, this is delicious. Okay, I could not be happier right now with this creation. This was so good and so easy. All you had to do was chop everything up, put them in the bowl and then blend it like 30 minutes later. This is so delicious. The recipe called for curry powder, but it actually ran out. So I ended up using a mix of ginger, turmeric, and actually cinnamon. I was gonna try and put gochugaru in it, but I decided against it. And I'm kind of glad. This is just like really a comfort food. Um, all of the onions still give it like a really strong taste though. So it's not like a bland food, but it's so good. I wish I had the foresight to buy like cheese and bread, but here I am. You can even taste the apples in it, which is like a pleasant surprise. I am just tickled by this soup. Really feels like autumn. I'm so pleased. Um, and now I'm going to go watch some Netflix, read a book. I don't know. Continue this autumn feeling. Please join me. Two weeks later, we were married. Hi, <sighs> <You> guys. <laughs> so I just woke up from a very deep nap so i feel a little disoriented but um the plan for today was i wanted to kind of end the summoning up of autumn feelings with all of my favorite autumn 
media, I suppose you'd say, autumn stories. Um, and I've kind of already been doing that with the books that I've been reading. I have shifted into um, a lot of books that have a really great autumn ambiance. I kind of talk about it a little on my book channel, um, which I'll link somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've been reading um, some books about, you know, witches and forests and all that good stuff but as far as movies i kind of actually go in two different directions maybe three um but on one hand i go towards like october feels so i want to watch kind of scary or creepy movies i watch a lot of alfred hitchcock um i watch a lot of I don't know just spooky things obviously hocus pocus um i made a video that involved hocus pocus last year obviously like harry potter all the kind of supernatural stuff stranger things is a great one but i also really like cozy autumn feels and that tends to go more on the side of like romantic comedies and one of them which i haven't watched in about a million years um but i've memorized is when harry met sally and for some reason even though it does take place I mean it spans like many years in the film for some reason it just reminds me of autumn in new york and that is my favorite time my favorite place to be um so i think that's actually what i'm gonna watch now but um yeah i would absolutely love to hear what your favorite autumn films are definitely i mean i think since i was a kid harry potter the films um, really really get me in the mood and from this video you probably saw that I am rereading um, a book called Rebecca and that is actually um, there's an Alfred Hitchcock film based off of Rebecca which is a book that was written in the 30s um, and it's actually taking me so long to get through it even though I love it it's written in kind of like an older language it's very much like a gothic novel and those tend to take me a little bit more time to get through i can breeze through more like contemporary writing styles really quickly but this i mean i've been chipping away at this book for like weeks but the reason i'm rereading it now is because they are making a remake of it that i actually have high expectations for i think it could be really good i i'm usually not that sure about remakes of old films that i love but this has what's his name i always call him army hammer is that his real name anyway the from the trailer it looks like it could be really good it's coming out on netflix in october early october um so you can look forward to that if you're interested in kind of that's like a slow burn creepy like very suspenseful um really great film so looking forward to that but i'm going the romantic comedy route today when harry met sally it is i hope it's on netflix if not you know we're gonna find a way to uh watch it but yeah i'm going to cozy up on the couch yeah we're gonna go watch mike wazowski fall in love so let's go <laughs> Um, well, anyway, the first thing that I saw when I opened Netflix is this A Devil All the Time thing. And I love Tom Holland, but I wasn't super interested in watching this in any way. But let me tell you, I have developed the strongest and largest crush on Rob Pattinson <laughs> recently. I always kind of loved him, but it was always just like very vague and like if he ever came to mind, it was like whatever. But I watched Tenant, empty movie theater, don't worry. And we saw Tenant, and Tenant wasn't great. But Rob Pattinson was fantastic. His hair was fantastic. And so I just went through this YouTube rabbit hole recently of like all of his interviews. And he's just, I knew he was weird, but my God, he's like 
the most lovable, strange, weird person on earth. Um, and so now I'm interested in watching The Devil All the Time simply for Rob Pattinson. And I don't, I just would like people to know that I'm going through this crisis um, at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to go find where When Harry Met Sally is available. I'm gonna use my VPN and we're gonna watch it because it definitely is on Netflix. So, British Netflix, UK, I'm coming for you. Hold on. I was sitting with my friend Arthur Cornblum in a restaurant. It was a horn and dollar cafeteria. And it's over 50 years later and we are still married. I miss you already. Huh? <laughs> I miss you already. Bye. You like potato. I like potato. I love this movie, but every time they break to have the old people talk, I cry. So I'm literally crying like every 20 minutes in this movie. And I always forget that that's a thing until I'm watching it and then there are tears in my eyes. So anyway, great film. I'm probably gonna sign off here, but thank you for joining me. I hope that whatever season you are in, what is it, autumn or spring? Um, I hope that it is beautiful and nice and treats you well and you are enjoying it to the fullest. Thank you for joining me on this little summoning of summer activity. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. I have a lot of travel plans. Um, hopefully, knock on wood, um, that they will happen. So um, hopefully I will be taking you around and catching as much of this season as I possibly can. So um, yeah, thank you as always. I will see you guys next time. Bye. It's amazing. You look like a normal person, but actually you are the angel of death. Okay, there's this guy. I don't know, he's just kind of faceless. Faceless guy. Okay. Uh -huh.